I'm back. Holy cow, that was a long trip. And it's been a solid month since I uploaded a video. So here we go, I'm back in action. I'm back in my garage, got my mill turned on. Last video, I was um, just working on that prototype for the spindle control board. Tonight I got it plugged in, everything's working. So here we go, just a little, little proof here. So over here, this board is my prototype. Basically have up to 22, 23 volts going into it. Um, you turn that down to about what your um, motor controller can take. Um, it's optical isolated, so the signal comes off your, your DB25 breakout board, optically isolates it, pulses it, smooths out the signal just with a little capacitor, and, and sends that on to your motor controller. So spindle on, boom. So that's like 100 RPM, doesn't really do anything. That, that bottom end is still not perfect. So this is 400, 500, 600. Don't really use those speeds anyway. But once you get into like, this is set for 1300, and I think it's actually pretty close if I check it with my laser tack. It says 1328, so there you go. And you can just crank it on up. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, the smoothing portion of it is still probably a ripple. I don't have an oscilloscope to really examine it and really dial it in, um, but it's working. So sometimes you gotta leave well enough alone, right? So at this point, I wanna order or draw up the actual PCB and order those so that I can actually make like a legit circuit board. Uh, so that'll be the next step with that. Another piece of really big news, I hinted at it in one of the videos when I was gone, is that another mill is coming. So this mill in this whole area is gonna be transformed. There's gonna be a Tormach 1100 Series 3 here in like, I think two weeks it's supposed to be here. So, so I'm still gonna keep that mill, probably gonna clear up some space. I never show you guys this portion of it. This is my cluttered area but one of these cabinets is probably going to get stacked onto the other one um, that'll give me some space to where i can um, put this workbench i may actually take this this table and cut it in half lengthwise so it's not as wide and move the legs in so so cut down the width so i can still fit a car in here if i need to and that'll be going over in this space over here um, that way I can still tinker on this because I got a lot of people saying, hey, there's not very many people playing with these on YouTube. Don't, don't get rid of it. Um, but then at the same time, I can start playing with, with bigger toys. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's going to be a quick video this week, but I wanted to show you that I'm alive, I'm home, and this little spindle board is almost done. So pretty soon you can get some new com content. So that'll be good. And, uh, and yeah, and let you know about the Tormach, which I'm super excited about. So that'll be coming soon. So I will see you next time. Have a good one.